Springtails are small bugs that live in the uh, ice-free areas of Antarctica in the soil. Um, they are only one or two millimetres long and they look like small ants. So one of the problems that we face is actually trying to estimate population size um, because they're so difficult to find and you can't sample every single one, you can't turn up every single rock. Because the systems down there are so simple, there aren't very many animals that live there at all and springtails are in fact the largest even though they're only a couple of millimetres. Um, they become really important players in the ecosystems down there so any change that they might um, face is going to impact the rest of the ecosystems. During the winter they're completely hibernating, they produce antifreeze molecules so, they, so that they don't freeze um, and they yeah, just bunker down for the winter and, and then emerge in, in the summer and we find a lot of variation uh, among the springtails with their tolerance to cold as well. Some individuals in a population have greater tolerance to cold than others, so we get natural variability with that. And I guess as temperatures get warmer, um, some of those variants might be outcompeted and we might see shift in population structure. And um, we also have genetic diversity as well. And, and with the genetic diversity, um, it's important for them to maintain that diversity 